What's up, Creepers and Geekers? Chris, the Atari Creep. How's everyone doing today? Got something pretty cool to show off for you. This is a place that I picked up over the weekend um, that I've been semi-looking for for a while. Now, normally I don't collect superhero toys or action figures, um, but I saw this one a while back, and we'll get to that here in a minute. And in the back of my brain, it's always been there. If you see one, that's fairly cheap. Go ahead and pick it up. And I have a very specific purpose why I wanted to pick this up, considering I don't collect superhero stuff. What this is, is uh, Wayne Manor. Uh, I want to say this one came out in 1991. Now, there are a ton of variations of this thing. Uh, apparently, it came out with every Batman movie that came out, all the way up into the most recent ones, you know, Dark Knight and uh, Batman Begins and all that stuff. There's different color schemes, different whatever, but it's all the same mold. But mine, from best I can see, is the one that came out in 1991 from Kenner. Now, a while back, I was... One of the things I like to do is I like to look up videos of toys that I either enjoyed as a kid or I kind of have on the back of the brain as far as something I'd like to collect or something I do have, and I just like to see other, ones, other people talking about it. And one of those things is my Remco Mini Monsters. Now, I only have two of them, if you recall. I have uh, the Phantom and I have Dracula. Um, I do want to collect them all. But all that said, I was just watching videos and reviews of them, just, you know, to live vicariously through the folks who do have them. And this one video came up, and I'll put it up in the corner there, um, of a guy displaying his with this really cool castle manor-looking thing. With some cool lighting and there was some creepy music, which I won't put on there just in case of copyright strikes, but whatever. Um, so I messaged them and I said, hey, you know, what the hell is that play set? I don't remember Remco coming out with something like that. And he informed me that it was a Wayne Manor play set. So, in the back of my head, I kept it there saying, hey, you know, if you see one pop up, jump on it if it's doable financially. And it just so happens that I was on Facebook Marketplace last week, and this one popped up, and it had been up there for a few months. And she only wanted two bucks for it. Now, it did take me an hour to get there and back, but the family hopped into the van, we went down there, and um, did a little pre-Christmas shopping, you know, like decorations and stuff like that. And I uh, made a day out of it, and then did some other Christmas shopping after the fact. But, regardless, we drove an hour, I gave the lady two bucks, picked it up, brought it home, and cleaned it up. And uh, I couldn't be any more pleased. It's every bit as amazing as I thought it would be. Now, you'll notice we're in a completely different environment considering what I norm where I normally film my stuff. And that's because this fucking thing is enormous and there's a lot to look at. Um, so I figured it'd probably be best just to go uh, Ashen style and do it on the sofa. So let me get this thing opened up and then we'll look at each part individually. So here it is as a whole opened up. Pretty much just like this. Now, I am missing quite a bit from this playset. And you know what? To be quite honest with you, I'm I'm okay with that. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Um, because I mainly just wanted it for this part here to display my mini monsters. And if I were to collect more of the Burger King uh, Universal Monsters from 1997, I believe. Um, yeah, to display them, I might put some lighting in it. Some mood lighting. Just to make it a little more creepy. Now, like I said, it is missing quite a few things. There's a big flap door that's supposed to go here where your bat mobile can fly through. Um, and I believe it had a clock that opened up like a secret door or something like that. Now, mind you, this whole thing, depending on which one you get, has a different name. Sometimes it's called the Wayne Manor Con Command Center. Sometimes it's called the Bat Cave, Wayne Manor, whatever. But you'll notice you have Wayne Manor. You have kind of a bat cave kind of situation going on here. And then you have the command center. We will zoom in and have a look at each individual section, uh, even though I won't be using it. But it's still a pretty cool place that, even if you're not into the Batman setup, using it pretty much like I am, or maybe a diorama for something else. But either way, let me flip it over, and we'll look at the other side. So like I said, there's quite a bit to this thing. Now, technically, if you really want to think about it, you got Wayne Manor, you have the Command Center, you have a Bat Cave, and you have this section right here where, forgive me, I'm not into DC or Marvel, the gentleman who becomes the Joker, um, a big bucket would be here. 
and there's a trap door that should be here, and you could drop him in there, and he could become the Joker. Pretty much how, in canon, I believe, he became the Joker. So you technically have four playsets in one setup here. And how it goes together is it literally just folds up like this. This is a nifty little clasp. And bam, there you go. Um, there are also railings here that I'm missing. But what I'll do is I'll focus in on each individual thing so you can have a look at it. And um, yeah, and then I'll just show you how I've been displaying it. So okay, let's just look at this while I have it like this anyhow. This is the chemical factory area, and I think the detail on this is great. This would actually lend really well to like an alien setup. You know what, as a matter of fact, let me, if I can find them, I can't seem to find them offhand. But that's okay, that's all right. You know what aliens look like. But regardless, I think this would lend to a really good alien setup. Uh, maybe just put a little platform here and a little something over here. I think that's pretty cool. So let me open it back up. Like I said, we'll look at each individual section. Now here's the inside of Wayne Manor. There's not really much to talk about here. Um, it's got your typical doors here, which kind of flap around unless he's flat. But there's real no detail here, and that's, that's okay with me because I want to show the facade anyhow. One of the other pieces I'm missing is there are some skylight windows that go in here. And again, depending on which version of this you have, uh, they can be completely different colors. And I believe mine were supposed to be green. And those will probably be the only parts I seek out for this thing. Um, aside from that, I'm just going to leave it be. Unless, of course, I'm out and about and I see parts for it that are uh, cheap. So let me move it over here. And you can see the center back cave. Do that. That's the other side that you didn't really see earlier. And again, like I said, there'd be a flap here for your, uh, your Batmobile to go flying through. So as we flip it over, we'll look at the command center itself. Because there are some neat features to this bad boy, too. Now you have a chair for Bruce Wayne to hang out in, or Batman. Um, there's supposed to be a big computer control setup here. That's pretty cool. If I find a picture of these things, of course... I would have inputted them in there as we go. Um, this is pretty cool. I believe it's just, you can put Wayne Manor, oh, Wayne Manor, you can put Bruce Wayne in there, and you can spin it around, and he can go into his bat suit, if I can get it to spin, there we go. And you put him in there like that, and then you spin it, it turns into Batman if you have the two figures or what have you. I don't know what figures were in this line, so who knows. Um, this is the inside of the Bat Cave. And uh, there's really not much to say there. And as we close her back up, flip the little latch, and you have the part that I was really interested in, Wayne Manor. Now, I would like to paint this rock a little bit different. I don't like how it's so orangey and stuff. Maybe even just put some kind of a, a print out a interior kind of stuff and just put it in the background. So as I put like purple or blue lighting underneath the windows, I don't know. Just, just some ideas or whatever. So let me put it back up on the shelf how I have it displayed. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you how I enjoy it. And then I'll give you my final thoughts, so to speak. So this is how I choose to display my Wayne Manor. Um, I have Frankenstein up here. That's a Burger King premium toy from 1997. Uh, there are three others, and when I get those, we'll have a review of those, of course. Um, I have Dracula up here with open arms welcoming you into his lair. Over here, I have the Phantom in the door greeting you as well. This is a little cool thing I got at CVS. Um, I had three CVS bucks, and that's exactly how much this was, so I got that for free. Um, it could use another paint job, but aside from that, I think it works pretty well there. And over here, you can't really see because it's in a baggie, but it's kind of a werewolf Power Ranger action figure mashup. Um, called I was a teenage let's see, there we go. I was a teenage werewolf ranger uh, from a guy over on Instagram that I follow called Headcase Toys. He's the one who made the darkest one there, my uh, Veda Skeletor um, crossover. Uh, really good guy, Headcase Toys. Go over to Instagram and follow him if you're into this kind of thing. Um, I really absolutely love that figure. Such a great figure. But yeah, this that thus do. This is how I display my Wayne Manor. Um, I do plan on 
giving it a little bit of a paint job in the future. Of course, I want to do something about the background, make it look more like a manor on the inside. And um, as far as the rest of it, I have no use for it. Maybe I'll trade it off to somebody. Maybe if they have extra set of the skylights that go up there, I'll very carefully remove these hinges if I can and give you the rest of the playset, so to speak. Maybe I'll just leave it whole. I really have no emotional attachment to this playset. I really just wanted it for this facade. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at the 1991 Kenner's Wayne Manor that I am using for Dracula's abode. And hopefully here soon we will have more monster figures to display in it. And we'll have a better way of actually displaying it with some cool interior details and some cheap LED lighting from the Dollar Tree. So guys, thanks as always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. And until next time, take care. Creep it real. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback is positive. And bye bye Name that riff.